Stop the bleeding! Good afternoon, everyone. Folks, we all know that things are getting desperate around Monty Show, but we didn't realize how desperate they're actually getting until now. With all of the stuff that's been going on around Catherine and Harry and Meghan weighing in on that, and it boomeranging, boomeranging back into their faces, and Masson Harriman coming out on camera today, lying his face off about the editing of their pictures, they want it to stop, folks. Oh, I'm sure that they do. I'm sure that they do. Let's get started. First up from page six. The other day, Kate Middleton's Photoshop fail mocked by sources close to Meghan Markle and Prick Harry would never make that mistake. The same rules do not apply to both couples. This isn't a mistake that Megan would ever make. She has a keen eye and freakish, freakish attention to detail. While we all know that this, this definitely came from Harry and Megan because it was reported everywhere, but they seem to have changed their tune now. Why? Because it's getting hot in the kitchen, folks. Too bad that they're not going to be able to stop the train. They're not going to be able to stop Pandora's box that has been wide open. They're not going to stop the snowballing, but they're trying to. They're trying to. From the Daily Beast, Harry and Meghan spokesperson slams quote on Kate Middleton pick debacle. So they're now trying to say that they didn't say it, folks, hoping that this is going to get it to stop. It's not going to stop. A spokesperson for Harry and Meghan Markle issued a statement Tuesday distancing the couple from a somewhat snarky quote in a report on the manipulated photo of Catherine and her children. The statement was in response to an article published in page six on Monday in which someone claiming to be a source, uh, Meghan, she's always the source, and you can tell by the wording that it was her, and of course she had to weigh in and try and make herself seem better than Catherine. We know how it goes. Someone claiming to be a source close to the couple took a swipe at the Princess of Wales over the botched photo. This isn't a mistake that Megan would ever make, the source said. She has a keen eye and freakish attention to detail, blah, 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 blah. If Harry and Meghan had ever encountered the same issue, they would have been annihilated. Well, that's not true because they've they've edited plenty of voto photos and they've never encountered the same issue and they've never been annihilated until now with Catherine's photo. And then, you know, as soon as Harry and Meghan made their statement about, about how they would never make the mistake, they're getting annihilated and she wants it to stop. The source said, adding that the same rules do not apply to both couples. A spokesperson for Archwell Foundation, a nonprofit founded by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, discredited the comments to Newsweek on Wednesday. With respect to page six, that did not come from us. Well, well, well. It's interesting that Harry and Meghan never come out and issue a statement through Archwell or their spokesperson, who, whomever, on anything important. But they had to come out on this now because the heat is getting hot. How pathetic. It's not going to stop. With respect to page six, because we hope that they don't come out and say, no, it was Megan that said this. With respect to page six, that did not come from us. So they're making this statement. They haven't made a statement about, you know, their Sussex squad and all the, the horrible things that they're saying about Catherine, the horrible rumors that they're starting about William, uh, they didn't come out with any of that. But they're coming out saying, we didn't do it because, because they said that everyone's doing it. And where was, where, was the, where was the statement from Archwell condemning this, folks? The African Park scandal. Where was the statement on that? Yet they have to make a statement on this. Pathetic. Desperate. These two, I mean, they, they're, because they had to come out today and they never come out on important anything except this, trying to get it to stop, shows their heads must be completely spinning. The fear that everything's going to come out and everything's about to blow is probably off the charts and has hit next level. Well, that's what you get. That's what you get. So 
And then one last thing, uh, the photo agency Backgrid behind the Princess Catherine car shops slams Photoshop's claim. So now they're coming out and saying, no, that was Catherine. We didn't Photoshop. It wasn't a doll. It wasn't anything like this that the Sussex Squad is claiming. So the tide is turning, and it's not turning in the direction of the Sussexes. It just keeps getting worth worse. So things are coming hot and fast, folks. And if you're not familiar with the Masson Harriman thing that I'm talking about, look at my last video that I put out. But Megan's trying to stop the bleeding, and it's not going to work. M Meghan Markle has, they have managed to Markle themselves yet again. Definitely looking forward to your comments from the Office of the Duchess of Narcissics.